So DBL Nation, how are you all doing? Yesterday was like no other in our nation's history. By now, we've all seen video like this of an angry mob of extremists storming the nation's capital. Lawmakers crouching down, hiding behind chairs, fearing for their lives. They were escorted from the House and Senate chamber and brought to secret and secure locations where they waited for hours while the Capitol was cleared by police. My parents live five miles from the White House. I love the city, I love our country. I'm a strong patriot and yesterday was one of the darkest days in American history. We have to be honest and clearly say that. Um, the Capitol hasn't been breached since 1812. Um, people were allowed in and uh, it was a traitorous, violent mob that breached the people's house. Today I can't argue with Tory. Today we are Americans. I'm very much an independent. I'm not Republican, I'm not um, Democratic, despite what you guys may think, I'm very much an independent. Today we are all Americans. We are all Americans today. And like Tory said, I, I don't wanna be the optimist today because I want people to express their feelings and go through what they're feeling. But we're talking about a very, very, very small percentage of America terrorists, American terrorists that did this to our country. And nobody is happy about it. Nobody's out there, unless you're an extremist, saying, I'm, I'm proud of what our country did. I'm, I'm happy with this. Calandra on Facebook says, where's the arrest for these criminals, rebels? That's not patriotic. Claudia on Facebook says, this was a deliberate act of domestic terrorism. Joan says, I cried, I was so hurt. But this, that this could happen in our country, very shameful. And Diane says, horrified and angry. As a retired AF vet, I would not have expected to see this happen. However, since 2016, this is exactly what I feared would happen. It's funny because these same people that say Colin Kaepernick kneeling during a football game is un-American are the same people that will rush down to this Capitol and try to perform one of the most un-American things I've ever seen in my life. I want to make sure we tell our audience we see the Black Lives Matter and this as two radically opposing uh, responses and we are clear on that. I think we're all missing a big thing here. What we're talking about this morning is the best case scenario for what happened yesterday. And what I mean by that is they didn't go there on a Saturday. They went there when they knew Congress was in session. There's a picture with a man with the zip ties. They had gallows set up. They went in there to get Congress people. What if they were unable to escape and we're talking about a hostage situation? Before you chime in, Senator uh, Joe Manchin said, quote, it might be this horrible act that unites us. Just like we saw after 9-11, we were all united. We were all Americans, and I pray and hope and have to believe with everything in me that this will be our breaking point and we will only heal and progress from here. That's where I'm coming from, and I hope that that's what we see happen.